Hello, oh, Professor. This is Kyle Moran. Uh, just sending you my video for the portfolio project reflection. Um, I'll go right in order of what's listed uh, in the instructions. Uh, so, for number one, I feel this class has contributed uh, greatly to my ability overall to uh, appropriately, appropriately construct professional memos, proposals, and documents. Uh, I'll be able to use these skills that I've acquired. Uh, especially in my career for nursing. Uh, it's going to be very important that I have uh, documents that are directed towards the right audience, uh, accurate content, um, and information that's being portrayed um, and it needs to be uh, received correctly by the recipient. I feel confident in preparing uh, and developing staff memos and other documents. I also feel more comfortable now in formatting those documents um, so that they are very well organized um, and constructed properly. I also learned a lot about organizational skills um, in developing documents um, and writing pieces. And the course has been very beneficial to me, um, not just in my nursing career, but um, in school, while well, I'm still in school, um, in other coursework, um, kind of rethinking um, while looking through the rubric and making sure I hit all those key points um, and, and documents or presentations that I have uh, within those courses. Uh, number two, the course outcome that I believe I've met uh, while taking this course is to prepare clear and concise computer-generated letter, memo, reports, and proposals. I now have an understanding of how to construct professional documents, um, which will benefit me and my um, role as a nurse, um, communicating with doctors, sending emails, um, just organizing information while typing notes in the patient's care plan. Institutional outcome I believe I've met was the thinking ability. <clears throat> I'm thinking outside the box now. Um, so I've described my information um, and put it into words, uh, putting a little bit of background and research into it. Uh, I gain an understanding of how to use analysis and evaluation um, with my peers during the discussion boards. It was always helpful to see feedback um, from them, which benefited me in making small changes that I didn't recognize myself in my writing. Uh, and I, I feel they appreciate the same in return. Um, and uh, the collaboration uh, was very important just because each day we're presented with new scenarios. Uh, new information. Sometimes other people see it or perceive it differently. And I feel that um, by exchanging those views and opinions, um, it helps to my own success. Because uh, again, it lets me think outside the box and allow new information um, and views to come into play. Uh, number four, communication as uh, the workplace capability that I chose from the list. Um, I think it's important for having effective communication in the workplace, uh, especially being in healthcare, um, that when I'm communicating with them, it's accurate information, uh, it's organized, and it's clear for them to understand. Uh, sometimes in healthcare, you don't have a lot of time to um, say, act on something, so it's very important that you, you have the skills to pull out the very most important information and put it into action. Um, and that comes into play again with um, talking to doctors and other team members. Uh, very important that all that is um, accurate and concise, um, not only for patient safety, but um, also for your professionalism in the workplace. I thank you for your time this semester with all your feedback and encouragement, and I wish you the best. Thank you.